This is a video review of On One Software Focal Point. On uh, the right hand side we have a cat focal point and then on the left we have cat Photoshop. So the one on the right we're going to start with fo focal point, file, automate, focal point. It's going to launch the program. And basically the way that it works is it gives you this little tool right here that you can use to adjust your focal point. I'm going to reset this to a round and then I'm going to do this and then I'm going to resize this just so you can get an idea of how it works. I'm going to put this right there and then I'm going to grab the blur So what I want to do is a little dark over there. Alright, so... Effectively, that's how it works. Um, You've just seen I'm grabbing different points and I'm moving it around, I'm adjusting a blur, adjusting a gradient for the light, the dark. Um, uh, it comes with uh, the ability to make multiple objects. So I can go over here and I can add another one. So now there's two, there's one there and one there. I can bring that over. Okay. Um, then it has a variety of tools with uh, a blur and uh, different options. You can paint with a brush. It does come with some presets which I can quickly do just to give you a very quick idea of how the different settings work. While it is unlikely that you will be able to use any of these presets right out of the box, you can always modify them or use them as a base reference for creating your own. Now that you've had a chance to see the software a little bit, let's jump over to Photoshop and I'll show you how I would go about recreating one of these effects the old-fashioned way. I'm just going to grab a lasso and I'm going to do a, uh, an elliptical marquee around the face area and then I'm going to uh, come up here, uh, where am I going? I'm going to go to layers, I'm going to duplicate the layer and on this one I'm going to add the mask which is a simple cutout but if I go and pull up the mask palette I can uh, open up this feather a lot and then uh, take that mask and invert it and then take this and filter blur uh, filter blur Gaussian blur just to make life quick and easy there's a variety of blurs but okay so then we just added a blur there and then I will even do this once again where I'm gonna grab this area here move it up there and uh, then I'll grab levels and I'll have it bring the levels down invert the mask open up the feather soften and then enhance that and a little bit of that and you, you get the idea even though I was able to do it myself I needed to know exactly how to do it, and even then, it still took me a minute and a half to actually do it. Since the program works in Lightroom, and also acts as a standalone, putting together some batch functions can lead you to a set it and forget it situation. When it comes to being a retoucher, I would not actually use this tool. I would rather have the full Photoshop control over the work that I'm doing. However, I can certainly understand where there are professional studios that would be able to uh, use the speed that the presets offer. Then there are also situations where a photographer would not want to be going through all these steps for each and every image. 
This is why seeing a review like this one is helpful in determining if the product is right for you. But anyway, uh, so again, try to te test the software uh, off a demo. If it meets your needs for uh, Lightroom or Aperture, then fantastic, because um, it does what it's supposed to do. But if you are a professional retoucher, there, there's other ways to do this, and I would certainly encourage you to learn how to do it if you don't know how to do it already. And that's my honest review of this software. It's good for someone who is not already a professional retoucher. If you are interested in On One Software's Focal Point or any of their software, please enter the code TRS15 for an additional 15% off your entire order from their website. If you found this video review helpful and you would like to learn more, please go to www.theartofretouching.com for more reviews like this one, as well as Adobe Photoshop tutorials that can make you a better retoucher.